Hello everyone. So in this recording, we would be discussing on how to make your first SSRS report. So just to keep things very simple and to get started, we'll be using uh, the wizard based approach in which, you know, you kind of uh, run through a couple of steps in a wizard and it makes a nice report for you and we'll preview the report. And in the coming videos, what we'll do is we will take that report and manually customize it. We'll, we'll walk through some expressions, how to format your report, how to play around with table reports, matrix reports, and uh, you know, so on and so forth. So let me just quickly fire up my management studio and um, also my bits. Right. So, um, so connect to my instance. So this is the same instance which we installed and you know which is demonstrated in the previous video and we will be using the adventure works database for our demos so just making sure that we have all the databases over here all right now what i'm going to do is i'm going to open up my business intelligence development studio and i'm going to create a new project now there is this new project wizard that pops up and you see that there are two options. One is you can create a report server project wizard and a report server project. So, um, you know, we will be actually selecting the report server project wizard and it's going to take us through a couple of steps in the wizard. And let me just change the location. Okay. And I'm going to call this as my first report and this is going to be a wizard based so i'll just use the name wizard now i'm going to click on ok so once you click so click on ok it basically creates a project for you and immediately it pops up a small window and it takes you through a couple of steps which basically will ask you things like a connection string what data do you need and you know you have to just type in the query and then what should be the color of the report some basic questions and then it will create a report for you so this is like a very quick and dirty method of creating reports so this is basically when you know what data you actually um, you know need to display in the report and without any customizations you can just use this approach but um, you know if, if you need more customizations and modifications you can you're always welcome to open the report and you know kind of do those modifications we will you know basically cover them in, a, in the coming videos so this is just to keep it super simple so i'm going to click on next and then i'm going to create a new data source let me call this as adventureworks db and i'm going to set my connection string Okay, and then let me choose Adventure Works database. Perfect. So the second one is basically, you know, it's asking me what is the query that you need to specify in order to get the data and that should be kind of displayed in the report. So either you can type in the query over here or I'm going to use a query builder. So this is more like a GUI based query builder. So let me just add a couple of tables or maybe just at least one table. Um, let me add the sales territory. All right, so I'm going to choose a couple of columns and you know, you can add more tables to your report and you know, but just to keep it simple, I've added one table. I'm going to just execute this and it's going to return to me a couple of rows. And this is what we're going to display in the report. So this looks fine. I'm going to click OK. I'm going to click Next. And then next it asks me, it should, should it be a tabular report or a matrix report? I'm going to just keep it as tabular. And then, you know, um, basically it, it basically asks you how should the table look like and how should you group the data. So let me just, OK. I'm going to click on Next. And then I'm not going to click on anything over here. The step top looks good. And then here it asks you to choose a couple of table styles. So red looks good. I'm going to click on next. 
and then basically it asks you uh, where do you actually want to deploy this so you could give um, you know like a deployment uh, location um, let me see the ship in my case um, just quickly open up SQL configuration tools. Oops, actually, I should have selected reporting services configuration. Okay. Now, let me just check the report manager URL in this. Okay, it's reports. It's report server underscore SSRS express. Okay. This is where I need to deploy this. That looks good. I'm going to click on next and I'm going to name this report as my first report. So when I click on finish, it's going to create a report for me. And um, you know, basically kind, kind of makes a table for you and then sets the color accordingly um, as you have set it. If I just click on the preview tab, it's going to create a report for me click on next so you know this is basically displaying um on as per the grouping that i have um selected so you see that you know you, you made a very simple report using the wizard of course you can go to the design view and customize this as required you can change the groupings and so on and so forth but um you know those things we will be discussing in in some further videos and then we'll also have a video in which um, you know we'll take you through how to deploy this report on the report server and then view it via internet explorer or something like that so see you in the next video for more customized reports thank you